Fugitive Task Force went into a Detroit home last April looking for Terrence Kellum, a 20-year-old robbery suspect who shoved a gun in a pizza guy's face. Kellum, a black man, ended up dead. The federal agent who shot Kellum said the suspect dropped through a hole in the attic and came at him wielding a hammer. The father claims his son was unarmed and was the victim of a police assassination. Recently, the Wayne County prosecutor ruled in favor of the agent. No charges will be brought. In the current climate of America, it's important to say that the federal agent is also black, as is the prosecutor. The pizza guy is white. Yes, black lives matter. Of course they matter. But you know what else matters? Credible facts matter. Supportable evidence matters. Provable evidence matters. Doing justice matters. And the truth matters. He was reaching for his father when they killed him. That boy didn't have nothing in his hands, and they just did that. I mean, straight out executed him. Protests are coming. The city's on edge. Who to believe? We went to the Kellum household with the prosecutor's findings to get to the heart of the matter. The police were looking for your son because yes. he put a gun in somebody's face, a pizza guy's face. That's not right. That's not true. That's not true? That's not true. The police had been looking for my son over on the other side of town for violation of probation. For doing what? Not going to see his probation officer. Over a weapon? Over a weapon? Yes, over a weapon. This, he was almost on probation for that. Why didn't you just go up there and talk to your son and say, son, come give yourself up? Because they kept asking. But I knew they were looking for him, true. They did. Okay, but... My why, son, why, did, why didn't you do that? Because my son was scared, Charlie. And you saw him come down with his hands uncuffed, and then yep. they, they just started unloading on him. Yep. He brought him down, that's what I'm saying. Now, if he had a hammer, Charlie... Well, why would, why, why would, why they, would just, they bring him on downstairs with no handcuffs? Why would they just start unloading on him? He brought his hands out of his pockets. He says, but dad! So he says, but dad, boom, boom! But now only dad, don't get killed, with, with two cops right there? It was two in the back of him? So the cops were shooting at your son with cops in the line yes, of fire? Yes, he was. Boom, he fell to his knees. Right here. That's where that bullet hole come from right there. After that, I can't say what happened because they were trying to rouse me up in the room. Bop, 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 bop. I hit anywhere from seven to eight shots ring out. And he already shot him twice. Again, the police version of events is that the young man dropped through a hole in the attic, came out of a downstairs bedroom wielding a hammer. Fearing for his life, the agent shot him four times. The family lawyer says it's not physically possible for a grown man to drop through the attic hole. Because you can see that no individual, small baby couldn't have fit through that hole. But the evidence shows that Terrence Kellum's clothes were coated in drywall, insulation, and wood from the attic. A hammer was recovered, dappled with Terrence Kellum's blood. Okay, let's see where they say he came through. He, they said, they're trying to say he came through there. He had a hammer and he wouldn't, okay. Yeah, now look, you see this hole right in town? Yeah. There's no way a human body can fit through that hole when you got shells this thick. You see that shell down there, Charlie? My son weighed 110 pounds. 110? Yes. 110, I weigh 170. And you can't fit through that, can you? I don't know. Should I try? Try it. All right. I missed that shelf right there. Now he's 110. Yep. I'm 170. Yep. Now you got cops up here looking at you too, Charlie. There's no way you can do it, is it? Well, it's not easy. My wallet. My wallet's gone. Yeah, I could do it. Could it be that you love your son so much and you're hurting so hard that you're remembering things that didn't happen? No, Charlie, I would never forget this. Never. I saw from step one all the way up until he gunned my son down in my face. If this cop was white, okay. do you think he'd be getting better attention? If it was white, shoot down my son. Yeah, I do. I do. I do. Because I'm not racist or nothing, Charlie. But that's what people look for. If when you get a killing like that, you look for it to be a white officer. I ain't going to say a cop officer killing a black man, OK? This wasn't no white officer. This is a black man killing another black man. That's what's hard for me to accept, maybe. 
you know, I'm, I'm used to hearing, you, you see the news, a Caucasian officer shoot down a black man. But when you hear the news about a Caucasian person that's doing wrong, got a warrant out for his arrest, he always get arrested, don't he? He don't get killed. The fact is, nearly twice as many white people in America die at the hands of police than black people. Another fact is, all lives matter. Black lives, white lives, cop lives. As the prosecutor said, the facts must also matter if we're ever to fully achieve the promise of justice for all.